Alright, hi guys, this is Aaron and welcome back to another video on Bluebeam Review. Alright, so for today we're going to be covering on the feature uh, of page labeling, right, sometimes known as Automark. Right, so what we have here is uh, any typical scanned PDF. Right, so uh, what we want to do now is that if you look at thumbnails on your left hand side, uh, you will see that any, any PDF that you open up, uh, most of the time in Bluebeam, they will come out to be like page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4. It will not have a page name there, right? Uh, what some of uh, what, what some people do may actually just double click on the one and then just type in their own uh, page numbers or page titles on their own. Uh, it's fine for four pages, but when you have easily an entire set of contract documents, that takes a really long amount of time. And whenever you want to find out uh, where certain drawings are you need to scroll them and you need to find them so all these things take time right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run OCR first all right so I have my OCR function here I will optimize it for cat drawings click OK right so what this is doing right now is that OCR will search through the document and uh, attempt to recognize uh, to recognize all the text that is in this PDF or in this document Right. And after, after the, the process is finished, we will start the page labeling function. So as you may have guessed, the page labeling function relies heavily on Bluebeam's OCR functionality, its ability to recognize the text from document. And as mentioned, this is a scan PDF. So yes, um, it is able to work on scan PDFs as well. Right, so uh, once OCR has finished running, we're going to go to the page label function. Right, so where I'm going to go next is I'm going to just extract out the data from the drawing title. So I'll just select the, the area that I want to, to extract from. So you can see here that it has really detected this drawing title. Right, and saying first of all layout plan. Right, you have the option of adding additional regions if you want to add on the date. Uh, if I just want to add on this, add a second region, put in the date. Right, I can do this as well. So I can have first folio plan dash August. Right, so you can add, um, subtract whichever area you want. Right, so once I've done this, I click OK. I can apply to all pages and apply. So you can see here that it has extracted out all the page info from all the pages with one click. All right, with one function. So you, you don't have to rename every single page manually. It will just check through all the pages at one go. Right, uh, from here, there are many options. If you continue to stay, if you prefer to use it as it is, you can just save the file. All your page names will be there for you to enjoy for the rest of the project, right? Uh, or you can choose to actually extract your pages as well. So this allows you to extract uh, the pages one by one to be separate files, but at the same time, it allows you to retain the exact names, right? So let me just run through this feature so I can just select all. I will save it to this link, right? And now you can see it has come up as according to the names in your file. Right, thanks for watching.